Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone is keeping safe at this season. And in this video, I want to talk about protocols and delegates versus closure. Uh, in the context when you have a parent object and a child object, and the child is trying to communicate back to the parent. Okay, so I won't say that this is super advanced, but it took me a while to really understand how this works. I think on my second year of my iOS uh, developer journey that I, I kind of fully uh, become more proficient in this understanding. So anyway, I'm just going to illustrate through a very simple app that I'm going to build. All right, basically I'm going to build a table view uh, controller <clears throat> and then within the uh, table view cell, I, I want to add a button. And when the user taps on the button, I will want the table view to perform something. All right, so uh, I have uh, Xcode over here and let's start with a single view app. And I'm let me just call this uh, cl closure protocol delegate example. Okay, all right, closures, I think that's with an S. So let's save this on my desktop. Okay, so uh, let's create a table view controller because I want to keep this uh, example really concise. So let's remove this first and let's bring in the table view controller. All right, so we have it over here. Okay, let's bring this in and then uh, maybe I'm going to embed this with a uh, navigation controller, okay? And then uh, let's not forget to make this the, in, the initial view controller, otherwise it's not going to show up. Okay, so over here, I'm going to create a, a cell and in this cell, I'm going to bring in a button. Okay, so let's bring in a UI button and uh, let's call this uh, maybe change nav title. Okay, so I'm going to put this uh, button in the middle. All right, so let's uh, put that horizontally and vertically in the container. And I don't think I need to set the height or the width. I think this should be fine. Maybe I'll just make this a little bit bigger. And uh, let's also kind of find out what the height is so I can set this in later. Okay, maybe let's have it at 120. Okay, that's cool. And uh, also let's uh, have a cell ID in the identifier. All right, so next thing we want to do is that we want to connect the view controller file with this uh, table view controller. So obviously this is not going to work. So I'm going to change this to table view controller and this is going to inherit the UI table view controller. Let's make this bigger. Let's go back to the storyboard and let's just assign this um, with table view controller. Okay, so uh, let's create the uh, the uh, table view delegates uh, methods over here. So maybe I'll just do extension, table view controller, and then let's have the uh, methods inside here. So did select row is going to happen when you click on the, uh, sorry, when you click on the cell itself. But what I want to do is to capture the button event. Okay, so if you notice that there are some apps, especially the e-commerce apps like, um, you know, eBay or Taobao or AliExpress, where within the um, cell itself, there are many complicated UI and then, you know, you have some button to, uh, to, 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 to perform uh, other actions. So I'm, I'm just going to simulate this. Okay, so let's, uh, so this one, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, dot deselect, desel oops, not this one, deselect, index path, true. And then uh, we need to have the cell for row, okay. So let's sell equals to table view dot dq reusable. We have the cell ID, let's pass in the index path. Let's return the cell over here. All right, so maybe I'm going to do cell dot uh, background color equals to yellow to make sure that this is working. And then I think we need another one. We need um, number of rows in section, I believe. Let's maybe return three at this moment. Okay, so uh, do I need to set this as a delegate? I don't think so. Um, yeah, so let me just run this and see if this is working. Okay, it failed. Why is that so? Oh, what's this? going on. Oh, okay. I don't need this to be on the real device. Let's set this as a simulator. All right. So I'm going to run this and I should be expecting to see three, uh, three yellow cells here. So let me just wait for this um, simulator to load. 
Okay, are we getting anything? All right, that's great. Uh, and I think uh, let's also have a height for roll. So return 120, so it looks nice. All right, guys, so let me just rerun this one more time. And let me show you that the, the struggle that most people will have. So uh, the problem is when you click on this, you are actually calling the did select row at, okay? So what, what happens if you have more than one button within the table view cell, all right? So you need to find a way to um, handle this, okay? So maybe let me just have two different buttons. So I will show you the, uh, the differences, okay? Um, all right, so instead of doing it this way, maybe how about we have a stack view? Let's have a uh, vertical stack view. Let's put this in. All right, guys, you know I'm going like all out to, to illustrate my point, but uh, just bear with me. I, 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 I promise that this lesson is going to be very useful for you, okay? So we have the stack view over here, and then let's bring in the button. Okay, let's bring in the button and then let's duplicate the button. We can do it this way. So we have two buttons over here. Um, okay, so let's call this um, change title maybe. And then uh, let's call this, um, what shall we do this? Show alert maybe. Okay, no, no, no. Maybe let's call this change uh, background color. All right, let's keep the examples simple. Okay, so what I need to do now is uh, let's create a, a custom table view cell. So let's call this um, table view cell, which inherits UI table view cell. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create the outlets over here. Uh, should I do it this way? Yeah, I think I can. So let me just come over here and uh, let's set this to table view cell. And then I'm going to just open the panel on the right. So I'm going to connect some uh, IB actions over here. So maybe I can do it like that. Uh, action, let's call this change title button tap. And let's have the change uh, background color. Yeah, okay, change background color button tap. All right. Okay, so uh, what's next is, um, okay, so what's gonna happen is that when I click on the change title, I want the, uh, to update a title over here on the table view controller itself. So this is the child while this is the parent, right? The table view is the parent while the table view cell is, is the child. So how can I do that? So let me just quickly run this. So the first way is to create something. Uh, okay, so I have this two over here. Okay, the first way is to um, use the delegates and protocol method. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what I can do is I can do, okay, maybe let me just cast this as well. Okay, I don't think we need this anymore. So we can cast this as table view cell. So this is the first method. First method, which is uh, protocols protocol and delegate okay protocol and delegate okay so let's create some kind of uh, protocol over here so it's called the table view cell uh, delegate okay and then uh, i'll say uh, change okay maybe the tap change title button okay so i'm going to do uh let's have a let's confirm this to class so that we don't get a retained cycle so let's do weak var delegate and then let's do it this way okay and then when the uh when the change title button is being tapped which is this guy here we want to get the delegate method to call the, the tap change title button okay so guys this is where the magic is so i can do a let cell dot delegate equals to self okay so i have to maybe just create an extension here so the extension will be a uh, table view controller and this will conform to the uh, okay so guys let me just show it to you why am i doing this if i'm to build the project right now xcode is going to complain all right so very tempting to just click here and click the fix button, which is incorrect, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. What you need to do is to um, conform to this delegate over here, which is why I'm creating this extension over here. 
So now that you have, uh, now that we confirm to this, we have to implement this function over here. So, okay, so did change title. Okay, so maybe I can do it this way. Um, maybe I can also just add in a index path inside over here, index path, and just make sure that I set this index path over here. So cell dot index path equals to index path. Okay, so maybe I will add something over here, change title, let's add in a string, uh, text string. So every time, uh, okay, so this is gonna complain obviously, so I'm gonna pass in some kind of string over here. I'm gonna pass in the index path dot item instead. Okay, so this is an integer, so uh, I have to do something like that over here. Okay, so what was gonna happen is that uh, I've set uh, a property over here, which is index path. And if I'm clicking on the first cell, it's going to, uh, it's going to call the delegate uh, uh, the, the function and I'm gonna pass in zero over here. If I click on this one, it's gonna be one. If I click on the third one, it's going to be two, okay? Because it starts from zero. All right, so um, let's do it this way. I'm gonna do a navigation item, uh, item.title equals to text. All right, so let's see if this works. Okay, so if I'm to click this, it's zero. If I click on this, it's one. If I click on this, it's two. All right, so this is the first matter of using protocols and delegates. So for example, if let's say uh, by clicking on a certain button, you want the uh, table view controller to perform a, a segue, for example, or to make, a, to make an API call, then this is how you would do it using the protocol and delegate method. All right, so you specify the protocol and then you put it in. Okay, so the second way I want to show you is to use a closure. Okay, so how the closure works would be something like that. Okay, so change background color button tab. Okay, so um, let's do it this way. Um, so I've got to create a variable over here. So uh, did change background color. Um, did tap, did tap, change background color button. Okay, something like that. And then I have to uh, pass in this. So, so in the completion handler, this is something that should be pretty familiar. Okay, and uh, let me see if this is gonna complain. I think it should be fine. Let me just build the project. Okay, so what I need to do is that, okay, so this is the, this is the closure, all right? So I have to say that, hey, you know, let's, uh, let's do it this way. Let's call the closure when this is being tapped. And the way I'll do it is that over here, this is where you assign the, uh, the action. So maybe um, let's call this um, cell dot did. Okay, so this is how you're gonna do it, equals to this. So you're actually assigning a block into this uh, variable itself. Okay, and maybe let's do um, self dot, uh, Table view dot background color equals to uh, green maybe okay so let's do it this way all right guys and uh, this is a closure so there might be a retain cycle so what I like to do is to do wick uh, can I do it like that no I can do it this way instead wick in okay and uh, because this is a wick self and therefore I need to put in the uh, question mark over here. All right, so let's run this. And uh, this are basically um, two different methods that you can use to kind of you know control the behavior over here. So if I'm to click uh, change background color, notice that this becomes green. All right, so there's no way I can show you that uh, you know if I click on this, this this will be caught as well because if I'm to put a breakpoint over here and if I'm to click on this one over here, you notice that this uh, the breakpoint will land on line 36. All right guys, so these are two ways that you can uh, use to control a sub view using the protocols and delegates and the closure. Uh, that's all I really have in this example over here. Uh, if you ask me what's my preferred method, I would think, um, I think both is kind of the same. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that this reply is not really helping, but with protocols, uh, sometimes you add a lot of additional code and uh, it could get really bloated, you know, in your view controller. Uh, if you do it this way, uh, and in fact, you know what, why not let's, let's, let's do something a little cooler over here. We can also pass in a variable, okay? So um, 
what I can do is, uh, let's see. Ah, I don't really like the yellow color. Can I just remove this? Okay, so let's do it this way instead, okay? So rather than, uh, I can also pass in a, a color. How about let's pass in a color, okay? So let's do it this way. Um, and of course, if I pass in this uh, 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 parameter here, this is going to complain because I need to pass in something over here. Okay, so let's let's do it this way. Okay, if index path dot item modulus is this how you do modulus? Uh, modulus two equals to zero. Then uh, else, so let's let's do it this way. Okay, var color uh, equals to ui color dot clear. If I can do it this, then let's have this equals to to I don't know uh, to brown. Otherwise, color equals to gray. Okay, and I can just pass in this color over here. All right, so I can kind of show you that how you can actually pass things uh, from the child to the parent. Is this how you do modulus uh, mod two? All right, I think this is how you do it. Okay, <laughs> okay. So obviously, this is gonna complain as well because I have to pass in the color over here. So I can just put in the color over here as well. Okay, because this is a closure, I'm passing this into here. All right. So for this uh, example, I have to bring this up to maybe I don't know seven. Uh, okay. If this is the case, I have to put this at the back. Uh, color in. I think this is how you do it. All right, cool, build succeeded. All right, so I have several uh, table view cells here. If I click on this one, it's going to be, I don't know what color is this. It's gonna be probably brown or gray because there is some transparency over here. But if I click, notice that the color changes. All right, so again, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, guys, um, I hope this demonstration is an example. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave them in the comment. And if let's say you are keen to find out more um, videos that I have, just want to share that I have created several Udemy courses, which could be really useful. And I've updated one like just now onboarding screen IO, onboarding iOS, I think. Okay, let's have a look. So guys, yeah, yes, I'm promoting my stuff, but <laughs> yes, I have this one over here, which is pretty cool, creating some beautiful onboarding landing screens. I have one over here, which is uh, how you use Firebase authentication. If you want to build something, um, a, a highly reusable skeleton app, and uh, I, I have pretty decent reviews for that as well. So if you are keen, uh, please feel free to check it out. Mint, uh, and uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have for you. And I hope you guys continue to stay safe and keep coding. See you soon, guys. Take care. Ciao.